guys, I'm excited. My turbo manifold is here. Look at this. Oh man, that's good. That's good. It's a spool in performance. Got the uh, V band with the 44 V band. Oh man, this is gonna look sweet. Shit. Uh, I just spent a lot of money and that's not gonna work at all. It's not even close to fitting. Fuck. It gets hitting that mount so hard and this is dumping the wastegate into the mount. God, I didn't think it was gonna be like that. I thought for sure, looking at the picture, I thought the wastegate was gonna sit like between the frame and the engine. This is, oh my God, what a disaster. So, as much as this sucks, what I think could happen is I could have this modified, cut this wastegate flange off and weld it, um, you know, so it's straight, I suppose. And then, if I can get this thing back on there, um, it should, basically right now, it's the wastegate flange is hitting there. So if that was off of there, I think this will actually clear once it goes forward. If not, realistically, it's just on the top of the bracket and I could probably grind that down. So I guess what I could do is if I relocated this to like here, that would probably work. I could just have it like dumped off to the side. Oh, it just really freaking sucks. It's an expensive turbo manifold, just freaking modify. God damn it. Got the new intake manifold. Also got the throttle body. It's uh, it's in a box over there. Um, it's the same 70 mil and uh, you know, it's got to kind of knock off deal that's on the Mini Cooper. So it's gonna need some modifications. Like, uh, you know, it's got, these have to be tapped out cause they're just like random holes. And then I'm gonna have to do something about the uh, um, idle control because there's no port in there um, is what I found on those. Cause I really would like to run an idle air control valve on this. Cause I had problems with the Mini Cooper where it just didn't want to idle right. but. Yeah, looks good in there, fits good, so that's a plus. Okay, so one of the next things I'm gonna mess with is I think I'm gonna start assembling some of the engine stuff. Uh, I've got a starter, um, we're gonna put that on. I'm gonna see if I can find a thermostat housing. I think I have one somewhere, and maybe this crossover pipe thing. Um, and then I think I'm gonna try and get the intake manifold ready, start tapping some holes, get the throttle body on. Yeah, see, see how much I can get accomplished right there because obviously I need to have some of that stuff in there so that I can figure out my radiator hose situation. So I think, uh, yeah, that's a good plan. Okay, so I got the starter on and then I started messing with the coolant housing and then I realized I don't think I have the right one. Um, I had this one. Uh, I think this might be a K24. I don't have a seal for it, unfortunately. I don't have the fucking thermostat. I found this random pipe laying around and the more I'm looking at it, I think this one might be a K20 pipe. So I got all the wrong shit. So I might have to make a junkyard run to get that stuff. Um, so I guess I'm just gonna start working on the throttle body and the intake and see what I can get accomplished. Okay, so a few things I gotta accomplish with this one. So I found, I've got this IACV that this came off like a, a used engine. Uh, it actually came off the K20 that went in the Mini Cooper. Um, that one just happens to be the right one. Hopefully it's good. I have no idea. It's been sitting for a long time. Um, one thing that I need to take care of is that the ISCV port um, goes to here, but on the intake manifold, there's nothing there. So I need to do something about that, drill a hole, something, so it gets air from here. Um, and then also, one of the things I need to take care of, I need to take these screws out, Loctite those. I probably need to, more than likely, I'm gonna have to test fit uh, the map sensor and see if it fits. Um, on the other one, I actually had to uh, drill this out a little bit, because it didn't really fit the best. Um, I actually just noticed I have some damage on this one. I didn't even notice that. Um, I need to make a gasket because I stole the gasket for the Mini Cooper. I need to drill these two holes out and put in, uh, thread them for eighth pipe thread. I need to figure out what this thread pitch is and block that because I don't need that one, obviously. Uh, straighten this out, find a cap for there. Yeah, bunch of shit that needs to be done. I might even go to town and clean some of these fucking, clean some of the intake up because it's pretty rough in here just because. But yeah, time to get to work.
back here messing with this again. Um, I drilled out the hole on the top of the throttle body so this map sensor actually fit. I found an O-ring for that. So that's taken care of. I did take these screws out, Loctite in them, so that's all good. I created another gasket because this one was off Mini Cooper and it's destroyed. Then I marked my intake. Um, and then I, uh, I drilled a hole through here because for some reason these Chinese ones, they don't actually have an idle air control hole. I don't really know why they did that, but uh, I drilled a hole through there, so this should work. I'm gonna end up grinding this down and smoothing this out so it's not so rough and works more on the porting. I did find a bolt that'll fit here that's much shorter than the one I have had before and it looks better so I'm gonna end up uh, sealing that one in there. Okay I think I'm done with the intake manifold. I <laughs> I spent way way longer on this than I originally planned to but I uh, yeah I ended up porting and polishing like the whole uh, inlet of this smoothing it out because it was so rough and I just I couldn't stand looking at it. Um, I, did, I went in about as far as I could with what I had. And then these ports, I basically just tried to smooth out the casting mark about as far in as I could go. You can see like, if you look real close back in there, you can see the casting mark like that one, you can still see it. Um, I didn't spend a ton of time on it. I mostly just wanted to get the big shit out of it. It's, I mean, it's way, way better than it was. That's for sure. It looked like garbage before. So I think now I can start uh, assembling this intake manifold so I can actually put it on the car. All right, got the throttle body on. I think it's just about ready to put it on the car. I did have to uh, cut this bolt down just a little bit because it was sticking down through the intake manifold a little bit. Now it's not. Everything's lined up real nice with that nice port and polish job I did. Um, I did take this out. I uh, um, used some JB Weld so it's um, going to be sealed up here in 24 hours or so because this thing was kind of loose. I didn't want it to blow out on me since it's gonna be turboed, but yeah, I think we can throw it on. All right, got her on there. Still need a few things for the intake manifold. I still got like the block off plate for the top of the throttle body. I still need to get an adapter fitting for there. Um, still need a different fitting for the, you know, the fuel rail. I don't even know which side I'm gonna be running. The fuel lines, I have no idea at the moment. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's on there. Looks good. So yeah, on to the next thing. Hey guys, it's gonna be a yeah. That's gonna be it on this one. So it's gonna be a short video. I um, yeah. A lot of this video was actually from months ago, but um, I just I didn't have enough content, and I was like, I honestly I haven't worked on this in a while because I've been too busy screwing with these cars. But you know, I did put in some some work a few months back, and I was like, you know what, we should probably just throw that up there just because, um, just kind of you know, I got that obviously I got the intake manifold so it's kind of sorted out. The turbo manifold, well, I don't know. Uh, I've been getting better at TIG welding. You know, I got my TIG welder over there. So if I keep practicing, the, you know, I'm, I eventually I'm going to get to the point where I think I'll be okay re-welding the wastegate to a different spot on this turbo manifold and making that work. Um, I did get uh, some other things. I got, like, uh, some new control arms for the front for the lowers because I've been having problems with those tubular ones that got me. Those bushings, they never really fit, and it's been a whole thing. So I, just, I ordered some more control arms. So I've got those for next time I work on this. Um, I can throw those in, and then, you know, obviously i got a million other things to do. But um, it's 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 not completely in the back burner. It's just mostly it's it's racing season. So, yeah, the uh, the cars that run are more important right now than getting this one running because this one's a long-term project. So we're going to get back to it, um, yeah, hopefully sooner than later, but we'll see. Uh, but until next next time, uh, like, subscribe, ring the bell, do the things. Peace out.